Hello, in this session, we will look at the local paths. So how you can uh, define your module blocks pointing to the uh, local paths. But before that, let's discuss about what are the different options we have, what are the different sources that we can use when we are working with the Terraform module. So the source argument within your uh, module block, this is what uh, tells your Terraform as to where the source code is available to the desired child module. So basically, where is the uh, actual code that will be creating the resources for us, where that code is available, we can define that by making use of your source argument. So Terraform uses this uh, during the module installation steps of your Terraform init command. So uh, whenever we run the Terraform init command, what Terraform will do is Terraform will download the source code to the directory on your local machine so that other Terraform commands can start using it. So whenever we are using the module uh, block and when we give the source, and when we initialize the configuration files, Terraform will download the code, the source code from that source, and then it will store it on your local disk. So now this module, uh, it supports a variety of uh, source types. So we can use local paths, we can use Terraform registry, we can use GitHub. So basically the source code, we can have it on GitHub and then we can download it from GitHub. We can use Bitbucket, we can use mercurial repositories we can have http urls we can use s3 buckets we can use google cloud buckets and then modules in package sub directory so these are the options that are available uh, that we can use as part of your source uh, argument to store your uh, source code and then download it within your module block now in this session we will look at your local paths now the local path references uh, allow for refactoring out portions of your configuration within a single source directory. So local path simply means the source code is available on the local machine itself within a single source uh, repository. So a local path must begin with either dot slash or dot dot slash to indicate that a local path is intended to distinguish from a module registry address. So whenever we are defining the module block for your local paths, we should either use dot slash or we should be using dot dot slash. Now the difference is dot slash means the uh, module, the source code is available within the same directory and dot dot slash means it is one directory outside the existing directory. All right. So local paths are special in that they're not installed in the same sense that other sources are. The files are already present on your local disk probably as a result of installing a parent module and so they can just be used directly. So whenever we are using the local path, Terraform will not be downloading any of your source code because the code is already available on the local disk and will simply use that code. Now, the source code is automatically updated if the parent module is upgraded. So the other advantage we have with your local path is whenever we upgrade or whenever we update something in the parent module it will automatically update it in your child module now note that terraform does not consider an absolute file system path which is starting with a slash a drive letter or similar to be a local path so we can use absolute file system however uh, terraform will not consider that as a local path it will consider that as a remote path so instead terraform will treat that in a similar way as a remote module and copy it in the, into the local module cache so what will happen is whenever we use an absolute file system something like this here if you see i'm giving the absolute file system path now in this case what happens is terraform will treat this as a remote module and it will copy or it will download the source code from this path and store it on your local module cache so it is not recommended so an absolute path is a package in the sense described in modules in packet subdirectories and terraform does not recommend using absolute file system paths to refer to terraform modules because it will tend to couple your configurations to the file system layout of a particular computer so here it is restricted to this file system so terraform does not recommend 
So whenever we are using the local path, Terraform does not recommend using an absolute file system. Rather, it recommends using the dot slash or dot dot slash. So let's see an example for this. So here I have the code that we will be using for this example. Uh, I will be sharing the link to this in the description or in the resources section so that you can use this. Now here I have the root module or the parent module code and here I have the child module which will be calling the parent module. Now here let me quickly copy this to my uh, server. So in my server here I have created two directories one for the parent module and one for the child module. So let's go to the parent module and we will start writing these files so first i have the backend now here i'm using s3 as our backend to store our state files let me quickly create this so this becomes my backend configuration then we'll define the local so here i'm using locals for the tags so let me quickly create this then i have my main block now in this example we are creating in total we are creating four resources and i have defined three resource block so here one for the easy to instance where i'm launching two easy to instances one for the security group and then here i have one s3 bucket so in total we, we have defined three resource block and we are creating four resources so let me save this then we will have our provider block as to uh, where we are creating this infra. So let me quickly create this. So provider.tf. Then we will have our variables. So these are the variables I have defined for this parent module. So variables.tf. And then finally the values. So let me copy this. So terraform dot Okay, so this becomes my configuration file, and this is my parent module where I have the code available. Now I want to use this code uh, in a different configuration file to create the infrastructure, whatever we have defined here in the main.tf file so how do we do that we will go back to the child module in this case so let's go to the child module and for the child module we will be using this code so here in the main.tf file this is what we have defined so you can see we are using the module block and then we are giving it a local name and then the source now source is a mandatory argument and then the source to the parent module so let me copy this and let's create this main dot here and also if you see the uh, i've also defined the input variable so depending on your uh, parent module the variables that you have defined all right the input variables that you have defined we will have to explicitly specify that in the module block so here if you can see i'm using ec2 image the same thing i'm passing it over here and then the ec2 instance type and so on and for these respective variable names i'm again declaring the variables in this module configuration and then we will be passing the values so basically what i'm telling here is i want to use the existing source code however please use these values the variable values when creating the infra so let me save this main.tf file then we will have our variables so let's go back and here i have the variables defined so variables.tf so this becomes my variables and the values to those variables so here if you see uh, i have not specified the provider block i have not specified the uh, resource blocks i have not defined any of the locals i have just defined the variables the variable values and the module block so what we are doing here is 
we are reusing the code that we have in the parent module. So let's quickly initialize this. So you can see here initializing modules and child module in the parent module. So basically uh, it has understood that uh, it has to use the code from this parent module and then uh, it is telling backend configuration ignored. So any selected backend applies to the entire configuration. So just a warning. Now let's generate a plan. So Terraform plan and we will see that this will create four resources for us in total and you can see four to add so two ec2 instances one security group and one s3 bucket and let's apply this i'll quickly auto approve this and this will uh, go ahead and create the resources for us so as you can see we have not defined any of the resource blocks uh, i have not defined any of the providers locals nothing I'm just reusing the code from my parent module. So whatever the code we already have, we are just using this code, uh, reusing this code to create our infrastructure by making use of your module block. So this is where Terraform modules can be really useful when you want to reuse your code instead of having to write the code again and again and again from the scratch depending on your requirement. Now again, after some time if i get a requirement that you know i have to create one uh, two ec2 instances one security group one s3 bucket so instead of having to write this code once again i can simply define a module block run the code and that will create the infrastructure for us so here you can see apply complete four resources added and if you look at the state file you should be able to see the details of the uh, resources that we have created so here this is the security group id uh, then here is the s3 bucket that we have created this is one of the ec2 instance that was launched and here is another ec2 instance that we have launched so that's basically what your terraform modules are and in this example we have used the local path now, yes, you can also use the absolute path, but however, Terraform does not recommend it and Terraform will treat that as a remote module itself. That's all for this uh, session. In the next session, we will uh, look at using your GitHub and also we will look at how you can use your S3 buckets as your remote uh, locations to store your parent module and then use that to create the uh, infrastructure. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.